Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, this is the best time of the year. You know, this is you know what you play for all season, and to finally have it uh, right here on the doorstep of it, it's. Uh, yeah, it's the most fun uh, the game is. It's going to be uh, extremely competitive, extremely difficult, but uh, an exciting challenge. Ryan, it's four years ago, too far away to draw, and so more, most recent for you. How do you view that? Um, I think, obviously, yeah, having a, you know, a deep run before, um, you know, I think that can help for sure. Um, again, you know, every year is different. You know, the teams are completely different and everything like that, but still, I think uh, it just you know, it gives me confidence going in. And I, you know, I think I, you know, Kind of know what um, you know what it should look like and, and can feed off it. What is there a magic formula? I mean, these guys here have been trying to unlock that first round for a while. Like, is there anything to point to that is key at this time? Um, you know, if if it is, it's something that I, I you know wouldn't even know how to explain. You know, it's decisions that you make at, at the right times and such. And you know, obviously going up against Tampa, you know, they've you know they've been the best team in hockey in the last three years, and you know they know how to win, and it's you know it's going to take uh, our best in order to, to beat them. What do you remember about the core in St. Louis and how that they kind of elevated at this moment a few years back? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, being a veteran group here and, and the same thing as we were there, um, you know, being even keel in the situation. So obviously there's going to be a lot of ups and downs and just being even keel in that. I think that kind of this group kind of has that and that's something that we're going to have to really lean on. What have you learned about Ilya? <laughs> Um, gosh, just, you know, obviously not seeing him much this year, but, um, you know, just in practice and stuff like that, watching him move, it's, you know, just the saves he makes at big times and such, it's it's very, very impressive. He's right. an equitable he seems, he seems to have a nice balance between being the, the personality, the upgrade personality, but then bearing down and playing well. Oh, for sure. Yeah, oh, gosh, absolutely. You know, there's times uh, through this year where, you know, we've got a you know, got hemmed in and such like that, and he just be able to calm it down and make those timely saves and turn it on and kind of, Give us that, you know, you know, save that we need in order to kind of help settle us in and get back to our game. And it's, uh, yeah, it's extremely, extremely impressive. He doesn't have much of a playoff track record. You saw Bennington didn't have much of any track record. He didn't, like, we, do we put too much value on that sometimes? Like, do you, what do you learn, I guess, about Ilya that makes you believe he can be the guy despite not having the track record? Um, yeah, it's, it, you know, it's, again, it's something that's kind of tough to explain. You know, I think it's, as a group, you know, you know, if we're defending things the right way, it's going to make him a lot easy, easier on him, and we have to kind of help provide that confidence for him. But, you know, goalies are obviously always a little different. They're on their own page, and, you know, he's got what it takes. And, and you know, that's uh, you know, it's just him. He's got to be confident with it, and we have to kind of support that. What sort of progression have you seen from Nyes, like from game one to game three? Because, you know, he's finally, this is finally he's here. And yeah. I can only imagine what he's going through, but he seems pretty yeah, absolutely. I think every game, you know, you see him getting more comfortable with it, and and you know, more comfortable to puck and making plays and little details of it. Uh, um, but obviously, he's just, you know, he's made an impact right away. The things he does out there is very mature for his age, and it's uh, yeah, it's been fun to watch. I don't know if it's just me. It seems like Braden Point has been quiet as the whole time. When you up against him, what makes him such a dynamic? Um, you know, obviously he's got speed, but you know, the puck control full speed too is unbelievable. You know, he's up there with the best in the league, and you see, you know, he gets a step on a guy. Um, you know, it's going to be, you know, they're having those quick, tight hands. You know, he's going to have an, an elite scoring chance, and so it's, you know, you know, as a group, you know, we have to defend him very well. It's, you know, he's got, you know, part of their engine over there that makes them go, and it's going to be a tough challenge for us. Why do you think you've got more points per game in the playoffs than the regular season? Sheldon pointed that out right when you arrived. He's one of those rare guys. Do you have any sense of? Ah, uh, gosh, I, you know I don't. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't really have an answer to that. I think you know, it's just doing what I can to try to win. I think kind of getting lost in that. I think through the course of a season. You know, I think for myself, sometimes you draw on your numbers, and and you know, for me, when I kind of think about that, kind of I think my game kind of falls apart, and you know, I think playoffs just kind of go play, and when winning's all that matters, I think, you know, just things um, you know tend to be better for me, I guess. Do you like the way the uh, fingers responded in the last couple of games, even back? Yeah, you know, every game has gotten a little bit better. It's um, yeah, and not like you know, in the sense that or anything, but just um, I think more. You know, getting used to just being having a little different. You know, having the buddy tape and fingers like that. It's just been, you know, a little different. But you know, every game been it's more more comfortable and I'm not even thinking about it now. What's it like on face-off? Do you feel it at all? No, it's it's getting different. It's uh, I can, obviously I've turned my hand over, so it's kind of it's even probably more protected there than, than most of the time. And uh, but again, even you know everywhere for it. You know, I'm not even noticing it out there, and it feels great. What was the intensity like in that game in Tampa? Uh, you know, Cooper was like, it's not even a regular season game, but it did seem that way. I don't know. Yeah, no, well, it, it was, 
I say, yeah, it was a chippier game. I think you know we knew that. And okay, this is our matchup, and you know I thought it was very physical, and you know we're getting ready to kind of go to war. But um, you know obviously that game doesn't really mean anything. You know we wish we could take those points, the playoffs, or take the win to playoffs. But uh, yeah, yeah, it doesn't mean anything, and you know it's just a game to kind of. Uh, I think start beating up on each other. <laughs> I did not dress the last two games. Physically, where are you at? Uh, everything is good. We get some good practice today. A little bit sweat, like goalie, doing back handle, like a little bit power skate here. Yeah. A little bit working hard today. Uh, feel good, feel good, good. Mental is good. We're just prepared. We have a couple more days for uh, get ready against the good team and player. So, what's it mean to you to go up against Vasilevsky? I don't think about me. I don't more worry about how I feel, how I'm feeling. And uh, we not play against Vasilevsky, we play against full Tampa team, yes. Uh, whatever. Yeah, more, more concentration in yeah. this locker room and uh, how my teammates feel. Uh, just, this is just my concentration. Right now. Can you learn anything from him, Ilya? Can you learn anything from from Vasilevsky watching him over the years? Uh, just a little bit more highlights here. Yeah. What time is? What time I have time for watching? <laughs> just maybe highlights or you know, everybody using Instagram. Yes, yeah, sometimes <laughs> you don't want to see hockey games. Sometimes you have it. Yeah. <laughs> what, did, what, what did you learn in the last couple of years in Washington from in playing in the playoffs? Ah, uh, this more. Mental, yeah. You need to live day by day, all the time. It doesn't matter what's going on. And uh, just a one game all the time, yeah. Like just one game each day, yeah. And uh, just focusing how you feeling, and that's it. Yeah, this uh, most important thing. What uh, I don't know. Sammy doesn't break. You said Sammy doesn't break. But was it nice to get a to get a rest going into these games? Ah, you know, like uh, I'm playing against Florida, yeah. Uh, most of the time it's goalie not playing a back-to-back game. Yeah, and uh, his coaches take me a rest in a New Jersey game, no, New York, New York game. Sorry. Uh, yeah, just more like rested mental. You know, like it's uh, really hard to play play a lot. Yeah, and uh, yeah, if we have a chance to rest, why not? Is and uh, Austin, Gio, yeah, like, have a. It's a good decision for a good rest for the guys a little yeah. bit. How much, have you, how much have you enjoyed this season, signing with this team and the journey that you, you came on? Ah, uh, so different for me. You know, like, like two different world, worlds, yeah. Uh, and so, like, it's a, I, love, I love my teammates, yeah. I like this city, you know, it's unbelievable. Everybody who I know here and I meet it, uh, it's so nice. It's a real good person. I love to be here so much. What was it like walking into this group with all the big names in the roster? What was it like? You've been in involved from the match can, but what was it like coming into this room the first time? And how did they welcome you? Yeah, everybody. You know how I said uh, before season, I'm signed contract, and after three, four minutes, everybody texted me and get some shock and uh, be so happy, you know, like how friendly this team. Yeah, and my first day in the locker room. Everybody said hi, you know, like, ask it how you're feeling, how you're moving, you know, to Toronto, are you like it here? Everybody's so friendly, and we, I feel more comfortable and comfortable, yeah, day by day, week by week, and, uh, yeah, as I said, it's so friendly team, and I love it. I love everybody here, you know, like, I'm so enjoy to come to the rink every day, you know, like, uh, I never said this before, it's really just, uh, and what time I play in the Russian, yeah, my, uh, my team in uh, Medvedevsky, yeah, what time we win the cup, yeah, I feel the same way like, in the Russian. Like, you know, so you've uh, grown in the ball game throughout the regular season. Hmm? How do you feel your game on the ice has grown and evolved and developed throughout the regular season? Uh, we start to work with the Curtis, yeah, in the summertime. We, we have a plan. We. I think we get some good progression, yeah, especially for my, how I feel in the leg, yeah, and uh, my reverse stuff, how, how I'm doing, how, yeah, you know, like, it's hard to say because it's a lot of small details, mm. sometimes it's work, sometimes it's not working, but in the big picture, I think, uh, 
we have some really good work. We, we're not stopping right now. Yeah, we're just keeping doing it and uh, get better and better every day. Yeah. Washington had won a Stanley Cup pretty recently. Toronto hasn't won a playoff round since 2004. Do you sense the city is excitement uh, to get this going? Ah, uh, you know, it's hard way, yeah. Just everybody wants to win the Stanley Cup. It's true. And uh, end of the day, a lot of good teams. Uh, and us too, yeah, you know, like, I think we're elite team, uh, I think we're uh, probably the best team in the league. Uh, we need to just concentration, like how I said, you know, like, day by day, not more, not overthinking. I know it's everybody waiting for result with us, but we need a little bit, you know, like, a little bit, you know, see outside, just uh, inside and concentration. Do you, you think Toronto is the best team in the league? For sure. Why? Because we have a nice group. We have uh, best doctors, best uh, therapists, best uh, workout coaches, yeah. We have best coaches, we have best players. Yeah. Did it feel different walking in today? Like more of a focus, more serious with the playoffs around the corner than maybe any other day? Uh, yeah, maybe not today. Just, I got some day off yesterday. Right. Yeah, I was just a little bit rested, a little bit outside of hockey, you know, stay with families, uh, or whatever, yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah, we we we'll get some meeting today about Tampa, a little bit we're talking about. And yeah, every day more serious and serious. And uh, you no, know, I think you don't need to overthink about it. Game, game day, yeah, you need a bit here. But right now, just listening and just you know, prepare for it. For the first time. What's it mean to you to be the starter in a game one? Like your first game, you're in the playoff series, you're starting. For you. Yeah. What does it mean? Like to, to be right there, game one. Yeah, just get ready for the game. That's it. I don't know what we said. Don't wait. Yeah, I need to get ready. Good physically, good mentally. Um, yeah. I hope you'll forgive one more question on Vasilevsky. From your perspective, play, as a fellow goalie, why has he been so successful, do you think? Uh, he's hard work every day, yeah. Uh, he's huge talent. He's, uh, yeah, he's huge talent. He's a nice goalie. Uh, how well do you know him? Huh? How well do you know him? Your friends? Uh, we're not friends, but we meet with him. Uh, Maybe a couple couple years ago. Nice day. What do you think of the challenge that Tampa shooters present? It's interesting. Uh, yeah, the culture of Stamkos, yeah. I see how Sergei play is uh, really good. Uh, yes, it's same like how we play against Avishkin or whatever, McDavid or Drozdai. Uh, say, think, think. You uh, need to just uh, get position before I hit this guy shooting me. Um, just to get reaction, just using my skills and uh, my reflex. With Kucherov, is it hard to tell sometimes when he's shooting or passing? It feels like he's very deceptive. I'm not quite going to play with him, you know. <laughs> just to see in the video. Yeah, it did. Everybody knows he's a lead player too. Uh, Last question, guys. So interesting play against him. We'll be, we'll be get some interesting series. Thank you, Elias. So, John, what's your sense of anticipation to, to get this season, this postseason? Yeah, really excited. Uh, a lot of work, obviously, uh, been put in uh, to this year and this journey to this point, and, and uh, get a chance to, to compete in the playoffs. So, um, obviously, a really tough test. Um, you know, rematch of last year, so um, excited about it, and uh, um, you, know, you can just tell the energy and the vibe around today. Uh, you know, just the building, and um, you know, we're getting, you know extremely close. So excited, uh, excited about that. Great uh, start to our preparation. So um, yeah, good day, and, and continue to build from here. What does it mean to this group, this core, to get to get this this opportunity, another chance to to run it back? Uh, yeah, I I, I don't think. Uh, we think about it maybe in that aspect. I think there's just a lot of belief in the group, and um, obviously, uh, I think uh, the type of players and people, and um, you know, a lot of ups and downs. But uh, um, I think just a lot of belief, and, and uh, um, you know, the, the additions we've made have obviously been really solid. So um, you know, it's it's another opportunity that uh, as a group uh, we've worked really hard to earn, and uh, we're excited about, and um, you know, we obviously want to make good on it. So. Um, yeah, we're just uh, um, 
excited about you know back playoff hockey and, and have an opportunity to uh, to go on a run. So at the beginning of the year, uh, the belief in this city was that it can't wait for the playoffs for another chance. But I remember at the first day of training camp, yourself, coach, all talked about the importance of going through the process, the regular season, to build up to this point. How do you feel you guys use the regular season um, to build and to get to this point? Well, that that was uh, you know part of our conversations today was. Uh, you know, talking about our game and how we've, uh, you know, worked our way to this point, what's made us a strong team and um, been consistent and earned the results that we've, we've had and, and built our game. So reinforcing some of those things and, and uh, understanding uh, uh, what's brought us success and, and how we've grown. Um, so I think that's been, uh, you know, kind of some of the preparation today, which has been great uh, just to reinforce uh, the type of team we are, uh, you know, our identity and how we've uh, built our game, so um, definitely an extremely important part of it. That's part of uh, uh, a long season and, and earning, earning the chance to be where you're at today and, and uh, knowing uh, um, you know, the game that uh, you want your foundation to be, obviously, uh, uh, in the biggest games of the year. John, no cups in 67, no playoff uh, series win since 2004, but how much does this team wear that, wear that history or wear the weight of those expectations? Well, I think we're aware of it, obviously, no doubt. Um, but uh, all we can uh, all we can do is prepare for what's in front of us and, and the opportunity that we have at hand. And uh, we know we have an incredible fan base, uh, an organization, a team that has a tremendous, rich, rich history that uh, uh, is really special. So um, you know, you know, don't let uh, uh, you know let the, the pressure you know outweigh the pleasure, this opportunity, and the excitement that we have to go out there and compete and um, everything we've done to earn this. So um, yeah, you're aware of that, but uh, at the same time, uh, just. Uh, uh, all we can do is prepare for, for what's ahead and, and uh, be at our best when, uh, when we meet this challenge. What did, you, what did you see in Ilya this year, John, that getting to know him but allowed him to uh, become the guy and that, the confidence of him going into game one? Yeah. I, I think, um, you know, he came in, I think, just trying to get a sense of his surroundings and get a feel for things, and you kind of kind of had a sense of that. And I think just he's really blossomed his personality. I think his confidence on and off the ice and just the comfort level he has with his game and how he's fit in really well in, our, in the locker room and, and the respect uh, 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 that we have for him uh, just as a competitor. And I think you've seen that really grow, just uh, the competitive fire that he has and obviously the, the ability is, is, is no doubt is, uh, 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 you know, is great. So um, all that's kind of really meshed together really well. And um, you know, when challenges uh, have come, he's really faced them extremely well and has responded great. And that's a, a great sign for for him and, and his growth here uh, this year, and, and what an uh, important you know piece of our success. John, in terms of you guys talking about the team's identity and how this team has grown, how do you think this team has grown? Because obviously it hasn't translated yet into a playoff series victory. But what's what's improved about this team? and What's kind of gotten better? Yeah, I think just uh, you know handling um, the adversity you. you you see throughout the year, I think the, the commitment in certain areas of our game that have continued to evolve and grow. And through the experiences that we've had, I mean, we've, we've been right there and it's come down maybe to one play or two plays, right? So you work all year to, to oh, yeah. put yourself in a good spot to be on the right side of those and just the importance of uh, uh, each and every shift, each and every play out there uh, and what this time of year means and, and how, to, uh, how to handle uh, uh, the swings back and forth and, and uh, obviously, uh, you know, you know, really trying to uh, uh, be uh, ex assertive with our game, um, and, and you know, doing what we need to do to uh, go out there and execute and, and be our best. Uh, especially, uh, um, you know, with this type of year, the type of hockey that you play play in, and, and what's uh, what's at stake. John, you missed last game of the regular season. I'm just wondering, you know, where you're feeling, how you're feeling right now. Yeah, I feel really good. So, uh, just some uh, some personal stuff. So, uh, obviously, happy to be back with the group and. and uh, uh, took advantage of the couple extra days uh, um, that I got that uh, uh, can go a long way physically as well. And where did you want to get us today on the ice? Uh, th for me, it's just kind of getting back in rhythm a little bit, getting back on the ice and, and feeling uh, feeling my skates, uh, you know, feeling the puck, feeling feeling uh, my stick getting moving, and, and obviously just re reinforcing some habits and, and parts of my game that have been strong all year and that are, that are important that uh, you know you want to be. Uh, Want to be uh, uh, dialed in with obviously as next week comes. John, what do you see from Tampa? A team that's played a lot of hockey over the last you know, 24 months, whatever it's been, with their three cup appearances, but they have the pedigree. What, what do you see from that side of coming into the series in particular? Well, I, th I think there's no doubt there's, uh, you know, they, they've been, you know, 
you know, the team of, team of the league really for the last three years, right? And, you know, winning two and getting to the finals again last year. And, um, you know, a lot of the runs that they've had over over uh, the last number of years, uh, especially with a lot of their core players and, and uh, um, you know, the, you know, challenges they've had, but the breakthroughs that they've had. So um, obviously going to be an extremely tough test. Uh, uh, you know, obviously uh, immense amount of experience and skill uh, and depth. Uh, so, you know, we have a good feel and understand what we're up against, and it's a great challenge for us, and uh, we're looking forward to it. How important are power plays given sometimes the regular season numbers haven't matched the playoffs for you guys? I mean, all parts of the game are huge, and uh, special teams is obviously always right up there. Uh, it's an opportunity to, uh, you know, swing the game so um, and get yourself on the board or obviously uh, um, do what you need to do to uh, um, you know, keep it out of your net. So um, always an important part of the game and, and obviously something, uh, you know, we're obviously going to be uh, working hard at and know that's important and we want to be, uh, uh, you know, executing well. Sheldon, you've known for a couple of months that you're going to be playing Tampa in the first round. How much of an advantage is that compared to some of the other teams who are just finding out who they're playing against yesterday? Yeah, certainly able to get a head start on our preparations. Um, even more of a head start given that we played them last season. So you're you're a lot further ahead than you might have otherwise been for sure. Ilya doesn't have the longest track record in the playoffs. What have you learned about him? What have you seen this year that makes you believe he's ready for this moment? I think he's just been really composed uh, all season long, and you know he's dealt with. You know, hasn't been a perfect season for him. It's been a great season, but hasn't been a perfect season. At times, he had to deal with some adversity, and he had to sort of. Uh, regroup and, and uh, reconnect with his structure and the foundation that he put in place through the off season and early in this season. Uh, he's had to you know, find his way late in the season to get success on the road uh, and he closed out the season tremendously in that regard. Uh, and, and our team's played well in front of him and the guys are confident and comfortable playing in front of him. So I think all those things combined, he's ready. He's, he's clearly motivated as he has been all season long. And that's why he, he put in the work that he did in the off season and to come in here and take advantage of his opportunity. How important, how important, for, how important Sean, is it that he doesn't give up that deflating goal? It's not a comment on the past. So we, we know what happened here in goal time before, but he's not a guy that gives that type of goal. Uh, I mean, obviously that that's it's important. It's really thin margins, this, you know, this time of year, of course, you know. But he, he 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 can't be, nor can any of our players be out there focused on what they can't do. They got to really focus on what they on what they need to do, which is to just focus on every shot and every save, and, and be confident in the work that they've put in. Um, you know, we don't want any of our players out there thinking about how things can go poorly. We want to think of them thinking about. Uh, the things that they can do that lead to lead, lead them and us to success, and that's really it. It's not easy to come into a, a new room, and he bet on himself a one-year deal. What stood out to you about how he sort of became part of this group fairly quickly, it seems? Yeah, he just from day one, you know, first of all, when Curtis Sanford contacted him and, and made that connection to, to uh, you know, spend time with him and, and how excited we were about his the talent that he had and the fact that we knew that he would be a guy looking to bounce back. Um, you know, we had a new goalie coach here in Curtis who was motivated to come in here and, and do well, but was, you know, both guys really coming into this opportunity in terms of uh, Samsonov and Curtis are coming into fresh opportunities or something else happening. He, they're just coming in here to try to get his game right. So I think there was a trust factor there early. Uh, Sammy put in the work. I think our training staff and performance staff did a tremendous job in getting him ready through the season, you know, dealing with different times when he had injuries or bumps and bruises. And he's just put in the work. Uh, like I said, I think he's been very motivated and very focused. And uh, the talent has always been there. You know, he's got a great pedigree as a, as a goaltender and still a young guy that he needed to kind of find his way, but he certainly has done that. Sheldon, what more of any do you see from having to, to go up against the Saints game again as a coach uh, two years ago? Well, like I was saying earlier, I think it, it, it helps you in the preparation and helps you in the expectations of what you're going to get. You know the you know the opponent uh, and some of the individual tendencies of the players. So you're, you're more familiar with that. Of course, that would work on the other side as well, right? So any of that kind of stuff probably washes itself out. Uh, 
but in terms of you know right now this is usually you know the time of year where you're kind of pressed and feel somewhat rushed to get uh, the proper preparations in order for your opponent uh, we've had notice so we've been chipping away at it over time and then now even having the three days uh, four days I guess if you count yesterday uh, to to really kind of fine-tune everything and, and make it very clear and, and simplified for the players they all of that combined is just going to allow us to be you know free free uh, free free um, free minds and just go out and play and, and compete How much Sheldon, do you Morgan's think? been through a lot this year injury different different playing partners where do you think his game is right now and how important is he to the group going into these playoffs? Yeah, I, I think, I mean, he, first of all, he's, he's very important for us. And he, just as he was last season, uh, to me, had a, had a really good round for us and uh, did a good job. And I think over the last, you know, six, eight weeks, I think Morgan's played some really good hockey for us. I think he, probably like a lot of our guys, have been kind of waiting to to turn from regular season onto playoff preparation and be excited about that. Um, but certainly he's uh, a very important guy for us on both sides of the puck. How much do you talk about identity with your team at this time of year especially? Well, it's um, right now it's about making sure we remain connected to that identity. We talk about that a lot through the season. That's really what the regular season's about, in particular for a team like ours, is, is to um, – you know, develop that over the course of the season. Every season, every team is different, and you you want that to be developing over time. And certainly, we made a number of additions at the trade deadline, so we had to sort of reconnect with that and and develop that on the fly. I uh, really like the way it's come together here, uh, certainly in the last month, or, but even more so in the last two, three weeks, uh, really since O'Reilly's arrival coming back in and it's kind of solidified our group uh, that much more. So you develop it during the regular season and in the playoffs, it's about adhering to it uh, and being confident in who you are. And we've established ourselves as, as an elite team in the league. We need to go out there and, and be respectful of our opponent and over the challenges, but remain connected to to what we do well. Well, you guys are you, this group isn't responsible for the, the the long history and the playoffs of this group. But how do you embrace that pressure? How is the group looking to embrace that pressure? What do you, how do you kind of manage that when there's so much outs on the outside? Yeah, listen, there's I mean, we there's a lot that goes into being a Maple Leaf, and it's a special thing. And I think everybody that ha has the honor to to be a part of of our organization recognizes what comes with that. Um, and we don't take it lightly for a day. That said, we can only focus on and control the, what we have in front of us. And, and today, you know, is a day about preparation for us, uh, more about preparation for the body than anything, uh, which is why we opted for an optional skate. So ended up with about 17 guys that were on the ice in various capacities. But it's more about time in the gym, time in the training room to, to you know, to get treatment and things like that, to be prepared for two uh, important practices upcoming. Um, and then obviously the, the, the playoffs and the opponent upcoming. That's really all you can control is what's in front of you. Uh, we've got a really good team. And as long as we remain focused on the task and, and not uh, um, get outside of anything that's outside our control. Um, and we think we'll be fine, and we have great confidence in our group. So what makes Braden Point such a dynamic player? I think he showed it in that 50 times. I don't feel like he gets talked about that much, but how much of a challenge does he present? Yes, yeah, significant challenge. Uh, like you talked about, uh, you know, he's he's found a way to, to score 51 this year, and uh, would be feeling good and confident and all of that, and. and and taking a step even from where he was a year ago, which you know he's always been a dynamic uh, player and difference maker for them. And why he didn't get as much attention, I'm not quite sure, but it certainly got a lot of attention inside these walls, and in particular in the last month as we've been preparing for this series and really uh, looking at his game very closely. You can see what uh, he's, he's having a ton of success. He's skating probably better than ever, which is where a lot of his offense is coming from, generated from his inside his own blue line and the speed he brings up the ice. So. Yeah, it's a lot for us to, to contend with there for sure, and you know we'll be prepared for it. You can only manage it so much. Of course, the power play is a significant piece of it as well. Uh, so you know we have to, to manage that, and saying out of the penalty box will be important, and all those types of things. But you know, at the same time, we've got good players that they're going to be thinking about as well. How is Matt Murray progressing? Progressing well. He's been skating uh, t today. I'm not sure what number of skate this was, but he was skating while we were away as well. So he's making progress. And Gustafson? 
Gus had a good day today, so ex we're expecting him to be in practice tomorrow. Lafferty. Lafferty's still not back with the group here today, uh, but is traveling back today. We expect him here uh, tomorrow morning. Yeah, I'll leave it to him to talk. Did Matthew Nye is working with the skill guys today. How important is the next few days for him to be ready for whatever you have next week in mind? Yeah, it, yeah, it is important. I think, uh, you know, yesterday being an off day and him now settling into Toronto, a place he hasn't spent much time. He's been here for development camp previously. But, um, you know, getting uh, getting comfortable around here um, and a chance. You know, I met with him here today just to sort of reflect on the games that he's played and what he's learned and what to expect going forward uh, in terms of the competition and and still a, a guy that's adjusting to the, to the league and things. So it was a chance for me to spend some time with him for him to go on the ice and work on some of the things that we had talked about. You know, he'll get a chance to get his, his first real practice tomorrow. So all these things are, are really important for him. But, uh, you know, he's done a really nice job of managing it all very well to this point. Sheldon, the fact that you've Last known, question. The fact that you've known for a while your opponent, and you mentioned their power play, and it's kind of unique because it can put Stan Coke's and Kucherov off on dot how much you know the fact that you've had time to pre prepare for that specific power play plus bringing in guys that you have more depth now in the penalty kill how important are those things yeah i mean their, their power play is as dangerous as any in the league and to me it doesn't really matter what the the, the you know the stats might say or anything like that they're they're dangerous both in how they're, they're set up and their skill set but also they have uh, shown over many years the ability to come through for them at very important uh, times. So yeah, it's an area of focus for us. Of course, we did see it quite a bit last season, uh, but uh, have some new guys this year and, and you know, them getting familiar with what Dean's expecting and what we want to be able to do to combat that. Of course, the biggest thing for us would be to stay out of the penalty box and uh, do what we can to manage that situation. But. Uh, you know, it certainly presents its great challenges, and we're going to have to do a, a job on the on the penalty kill and also the power play ourselves to make sure we're countering that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.